Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. So, let's continue through our Bonnet Monastery. Let's see what this fight has in store for us. Let's see. We'll take Og, TK, and... Um... Slim. Underground book storage. Fifth floor. Hi there. I've been waiting for you, Ramza. That's far enough. Rest eternally beneath this monastery. Yeah, okay. Defeat Rovell. Ready! Let's go. I see Rofel brought a mess of magicians with him, including a couple of black mages, this one has a thief hat so he'll go pretty quick, a wizard rod for more attack power, and a light robe for more HP and MP, and a feather mantle. Oh, this one's equipped the exact same way, except this one knows time magic as well. This one just knows black magic. Speaking of time magic, he does have a time mage with him. Be very wary of stop, stop, slow, and hasting their own units. This being close to endgame, you might see some demi spells and other time magic. Just be wary. A gold staff, got a thief hat, light robe, and feather mantle. And to round out his his force, he has two summoners with him. Be wary of summon magic wrecking through your ranks. Now, our main target is Rofel. He is a divine knight. Of course, be wary of mighty sword. He's going to know various break techniques. And will not be afraid to use him. He knows all magic this time around as well, so he may cast some more powerful spells. But if he if he can, he's probably gonna stick with Mighty Sword. He has a save the queen, so steal it, and that will negate his mighty sword techniques. Or break it yourself. He doesn't have a way to stop break techniques. If you use a Maladal or you have TG Sid, feel free to shatter his equipment. Start with the sword. He has ignore height, but that really doesn't get him a lot in this battlefield. It's pretty flat, except for where Ramza starts in your party. He does no defense up, so your physical attacks are going to do a little less than you think they should. He also has weapon guard equipped, and he's going to make full use of that if you swing from the front. Along with the crystal shield and save the queen, you have a, you're going to have a pretty poor chance of hitting, plus his class evade. So if you swing from the front with a physical attack, probably not going to have a lot of success. He's got crystal equipment and plus one move and jump. And that's this fight. Thanks to save the queen, he also has protect. So if you thought you weren't doing a lot of damage before because of defense up, now you're doing even less thanks to save the queen. Magic spells will definitely be the way to go on this guy. Thanks to Ramza having the uh, Aegis Shield, though, might have a little more luck. At least with the black magic, anyway. Uh, 
you might want to keep the party spread out a little bit because of all the spells as well. Of course, going to target Og anyway. And there's haste. Yes, get closer. Gonna try to petrify Ramza. That's no good. Also casting another buff spell. I believe that's the black mage that knew time magic. There's a summon. Because of all the thief hats, unless all your units are wearing thief hats, be prepared that they're gonna go first. Haste. Ah, getting haste on. And now the summoner and the time mage will have haste. Maybe. Missed. Ah, missed both. Great. Well, due to the spell. Because we can do some buffing off our own. Kiamori. And they're not the only ones that can cast. Ah, because of haste, they're going to start going pretty quick. But I'm going to get my licks in. Ifrit, huh? Auto potion, good. Ah, Ramza gets to go. If you can catch him while he's charging, which is completely possible if your characters have haste, take full advantage of that. Like all other boss battles, try to hit Ruffel as hard as you possibly can, and quickly. As you can see, because he's charging, he doesn't get all those fancy shield, weapon guard, all that jazz. Just try to beat the boss. That's really what I suggest for these battles. If there's a boss, get him down as quickly as possible. Wait, Og doesn't get killed. <laughs> He's going to move. And just try to, like I said, try to get your hits in on the boss quickly and efficiently. Suffering spirits to eternity. Break seal. Missed. Let me show you how to really cast the spell. Holy! Not quite. Really? <laughs> I thought I had him there. I'm gonna cast stop, huh? Twelve HP left. <laughs> Let's see, eleven experience. Da, da, da. Let's see, no skill, experience, prime number. Good. Experience, prime number, flare. Ah, guarded. This feeling, same as when I fought Cecilia and Lay. You are not human. No, I'm not. I've risen above humans. I've obtained eternal life with the help of your Vormov's power. <laughs> you can't understand the joy. 
are you trying to do? What do you want? Do you really want to know, Ramza? If you do, then you'll have to beat me. That is, if you can. So says the guy with 12 HP. Who I don't have a way to hit with Ramza. Actually, that's not true. Ugh, it's gonna take a while, though. Let's not have the character with stop casting. And start to head around. Titan? Ah, Og may go down. Confusion, huh? Don't you run away! <laughs> now I gotta go chase after him. Actually, I really... Well, maybe I still do. Nope. Should have enough speed. Yeah. What shall we throw? Oh, this will be cool. Gonna impale him with a spear. We're awesome like that. Well, that's that. I can't die here. I haven't finished my duty. <laughs> Ramza, I invite you to hell. Farith, Kaos de Veranda, Soda Remedo Filo. I am the one together with the Time God, Zomala, who can open this gate. Dejon! Is this welcome to Muron, Death City? Now that you're here, you can never return. All we have to do now is destroy that entrance. Go on, your sister is waiting. And Rofel dies. Alma. Looks like there's no way to go except forward. Start so we don't save over that one. We're on Death City.
Yeah. It's just going to be a series of fights from here on out. So, Obane Monastery was the point of no return. So, with that, I'm going to end this episode after that fight. Again, general tip for the, for the bosses, like I've been saying, just hit them as quickly as you possibly can. And just do a lot of damage, hit them quickly, then... You won't have to deal with the ads too much or the the other people that are there. If you just take care of the boss, then that's it. <sighs> Next time, we go into Moron Death City. So, until then, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and... Take care, everyone.